Engineering is about designing. It is about creating and inventing cool stuff. Learning engineering, getting a degree in engineering, is like learning anything big and worthwhile. It takes a lot of work, even some crashing and burning from time to time. The things that engineers create obey the laws of physics, and physics, of course, is expressed in the language of mathematics. So what distinguishes an engineer from, say, your Uncle Ernie and the masterpieces he creates? Well, engineers are able to put that math and physics to use. They analyze and optimize as they synthesize. Learning engineering is sometimes like drinking from a fire hose. You get blasted with equations and mathematical manipulations. But the best way to learn this material is to dive in and to do it, to get lots of practice. The good news is that textbooks are filled with homework problems like these for students to practice on. The bad news is that textbooks are filled with homework problems like these while such homework problems have their place, engineering is not about getting some right answer in the back of a book. Engineering is about getting things to work. And think about it, what if homework analysis had actual consequences, more than just a grade? Sounds thrilling, doesn't it? But it'd be good to have the safety of that foam pit, when we're learning at least. In effort to replace some of those dull textbook exercises with active and authentic learning experiences, we have been experimenting with a new game called Spumoni. In Spumoni, you pilot a little vehicle, the Spookraft, around a two-dimensional subterranean simulated world. There are many levels and challenges embedded in the game. In different worlds, the Spookraft takes on different forms, and there are different tasks to be accomplished. To pilot your Spookraft, you may use a standard gamepad, but Spumoni is not a game where spending hours of honing your eye-hand coordination is going to help you much. Most of the challenges have been carefully designed to be nearly impossible to complete with one's nimble reflexes and sharp instinct alone. For example, there's a place in Spumoni where if you descend too slowly, <laughs> and if you descend a little more quickly, You break your legs on the landing pad, and now you're toast. As you can see, the window of opportunity is razor thin. So how are you going to beat Spumoni? You'll have to beat it with your noodle, that's how. You'll have to recognize that although the virtual worlds within the game are almost cartoon-like, the Newtonian physics are realistic. Linear momentum is conserved when it should be. Angular momentum. Work energy. Particle kinematics. Rigid body kinematics. So yes, to beat Spumoni, you're going to have to make engineering decisions. You must perform analysis. You must express your strategies mathematically and program those strategies into the built-in equation parser or into the C++ interface. With knowledge comes predictive power and the ability to make intricate things work. For example, one can derive mathematical rules that automatically turn on the right amount of thrust at exactly the right time. Making things work, that's what engineers do.